What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a haul getting a chance to showcase all of the clothing that I pick up on a way too frequent of a basis. Just have way too many clothes to showcase to you guys. So this is my chance to just display it to the world. Show it to the world like I always do. Get straight into the video. Let's get into it. First piece that I have to talk about is this trench coat. I have been wearing this for a while and I was looking for something of this caliber. Same color, same length, same body, everything. I literally visioned it in my head. I was like, maybe it'll happen in a thrift store. And it was literally right in front of my eyes. It was meant to be. So I was so happy when it actually did happen. This khaki or military green trench coat. Got my inspector gadget vibes going on. Whatever you need, I got it type of jacket. <laughs> the texture of it is just really soft and it's just very flowy. It's good to just toss on and have a multi-layered outfit, have t-shirt, long sleeve, flannel, hoodie, whole bunch of stuff, and then just have this as the cape to just piece it all together. Like all together. This is a very fashion week-esque type of coat. I always see someone in a very large oversized trench coat. So I felt like it was a piece that I was missing as far as outerwear goes. So I figured why not hop on it. I didn't want to invest too much money into it. So this was actually $12 and I love it. I love it so much because whenever you get pieces that are just so great, whenever I wear this, people think it's like very luxe. Like people think it's, I don't know, multiple brands and it's none of the above. It's literally $12 from the thrift store. So if you could get pieces like that, that just look luxury, but they aren't, that's when you know you're winning in my personal opinion. So yes. Obviously, I know it doesn't look the greatest held out to the side. So hopefully I have some luxurious B-roll for you guys. So let's get into the rest of the pieces that I was going to talk about. We have some accessories from Vitaly or Vitaly, however you would like to pronounce it. They actually sent me two pieces to show for you guys. So I'll get right into it. The packaging is really great. First and foremost, when they reached out to me, I actually remember being on St. Laurent Street with my friend James. We found out about it together. We were looking for silver jewelry and rings in general for him. And we stumbled across this store on St. Laurent and it was actually all stainless steel, but we didn't mind because we we're just curious in general, we wanted to see our options for James. And they had a lot of really cool stuff, like stuff that was kind of bold and out there and styles that a lot of people like seek, but it's with a stainless steel finish most of the time. They do have other metals on the site if you do a deep dive, but stainless steel is the, the main hitter. So check the packaging, slides out like that, like those, and then slides up like this. Really, really beautiful presentation, I must say. And then we have the chain right here. Very cool link, kind of like an El Hermes style link, Hermes link, ice blue, Ice blue sink, that's what it is. No, I'm joking. Ice blue make doesn't really fit with my set currently, but this on its own is like, it does all the talking. You don't really need to pair this up with a whole bunch of chains, unless that's your style, you could definitely do that. But really chunky Hermes looking link. If you guys are looking for like alternatives to silver jewelry, because I knew, I know I do wear a lot of silver and sometimes it could be pricey, especially when it comes to like chrome hearts and stuff like that. A lot of people don't want to put it to like, put their money towards branded jewelry and I get it. This is jewelry for an affordable price and you get amazing looks out of it. So this could be a stepping stone for you to maybe get stainless steel, then get silver, then get gold, then get platinum if that's what you want. I don't know. I always see jewelry as a stepping stone. So any way that you want to get your foot in the door and start doing what you want to do is definitely a a-OK -okay to me. My favorite piece that they sent me by far though is this keychain. It's so sick. It gives me like a Pharrell vibe. I get a kick out of making jewelry and just different things out of gold. So I began just making like a lot of my mobile phones and my keychains and belt buckles and toys out of gold because it just, just kind of looks cool. Gold uh, hardware. It's a weekend bag, like a duffel but with a modern twist because it has this like Cuban looking esque link with the rings and the keychain hook. And then I can just throw my keys on there and it just dangles from my pants, from my pants. I can't really do that because these Owen pants don't have a belt loop. That's no shots at Owen, but it's just, I can't, I can't clip these to my pants, but um, you get the just from that little modeling segment. But yeah, really, really cool accessories from Vitaly or Vitaly. Thank you guys once again for sending those over. I really appreciate it. 
Going into more accessories, we have a pair of frames from Vintage Frames Company. I'm lucky enough to have them accessible in Montreal, but if you guys are interested, you could definitely check out their website. They have a lot of vintage sunglasses as, and as well, their mainline VF frames that vary in categories of affordable. And then they also get pricey to like the $500, $600, $700, $700 range. But these I seen on the weekend. He did uh, these two singles recently. Of course, the whole world has heard of the weekend before I'm acting like no one hasn't. But he was wearing these glasses and I love the styling of that video. It was like very casino life, Robert De Niro-esque. And I just love fe that feeling that I got when I watched the video. And it's rare that I'm like, oh wow, I wanna get something like that from a video. I was actually trying not this exact pair, but there was a pink pair I was trying in the summer and I didn't bite the bullet because it was kind of out, like very, very outlandish. But uh, the black pair came along and it was for a really good price. So I was like, let me get those. These could, these could be my don't talk to me glasses. You know what I mean? I just love these. These are really, really cool to me. These are gonna be perfect in the summertime. Obviously right now it is kind of crazy to wear blacked out sunglasses in the summer. Uh, I mean, in the winter. Um, I have done it though, since I've had them. Definitely not all the time. But, oh, also really cool note. Check my phone right now. It's locked, right? You can unlock it with the, with the frames on? Normally like, cause it's so blacked out, you normally wouldn't be able to do that. So that's another detail that I love. Corey, he's a genius. Shout out to Corey. Beautiful, beautiful essential hoodie by SDR. The guys over at SDR sent this my way. Beautiful French Terry zip hoodie with a Riri zipper. This is everything you could ever want from an essential black hoodie with great quality. You know you're gonna get multiple wears out of a piece like this. Cropped in the body, elongated sleeves, exactly how your boy Kyron likes his garments because it just looks great proportionally on me. And the French Terry is oh so soft. Oh so soft, come on now. Beautiful. And a lot of people were asking me about this when I was wearing it in uh, a couple of videos ago. A lot of people were interested. So if you guys are curious, now you guys know, you have your answer right here. I didn't answer anyone in the comments because I was gonna show it in a, in a video later on. Sorry, I wasn't ignoring you. I was just trying to save it for another video. And that is from Salon de Refusé, but we all call it STR for short. So yes, that will be in the description box below if you guys are curious. I don't know if the hoodie is currently available, but the rest of their first collection is available right now. So you can check that out, definitely. I definitely recommend you guys you do, because it's, it's fire. Nonetheless, we're gonna get into those clips that I had shot before this one. A little confusing, but we're gonna get into the rest of the duet. See you guys. Continuing with the accessories, I always tell everyone accessories are the wave. You gotta go with accessories, hats, keychains, chains, shoes, belts, everything. Accessories really save and add to an outfit. You could have a whole thrifted outfit if you have fire accessories. It, really, it could really take it to the next level. That's where we get into the hats of the video. I have two hats. This first one I wore on Instagram recently. A lot of people are asking about it. Going back to my friend James, I just mentioned him before, but he gave me this at his place, he said, he he bought it, he never got a chance to wear it because it didn't really fit his head properly, but it fit mine perfectly. It's one of those slouchy trucker hats that don't really have a lot of form because it's so old and it's just beat up, but that's what kind of gives it this like its character. This is very like casino gambling vibes. That's not something to laugh about, but at the same time, that's like kind of the aesthetic that I get with this, especially with this hat and these shades, like it looks like I've just been in this casino for way too long, you know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I, I like playing into a character like that sometimes and it kind of just gives you like some some comedic aspects to an outfit that um, can also be taken very seriously, if you want to say that, or like um, to a form of elevation to an outfit. So I definitely like small little comedic stuff like this. It's really interesting to me. It has a little dice and Las Vegas on the top. That's why I have the gambling inspiration from it. And continuing on, classic New York Yankees fitted, beautiful navy colorway. Got this from Lids, 40 bucks, something like that. Very light, could wear it with a lot of things. Can't go wrong. Next piece, this is something that I've been eyeing for quite some time. I've been trying to find the perfect winter jacket and I think I'm getting close to that with this. This is gonna be used as a liner and then I'm gonna get a shell 
that'll probably be my deadly combo for the winter for quite some time. But getting into it is this Arcteryx. Sorry, it's all crumpled up, but this Arcteryx jacket. And a lot of people are gonna ask me the proper name for it. I'll try and get that for you right now because I just took the tag off, so I'm able to provide that. This is the Thorium AR jacket. Not no valence, not anything. It doesn't have to be high end all the time. Mainline Arcteryx is the wave, I'm telling you. And I'm really into this whole hiking aesthetic right now. I know it's really popular and trendy, but I just do see the practicality in it, especially with Canada being so cold and it kind of just works in with the the setting of everyone out here. Everyone's just trying to be comfortable yet stylish at the same time. Dealing with the elements that we have, we can't always look the most quote unquote stylish, but finding the beauty in everyday pieces like this is kind of what Montreal is in a nutshell, if that makes sense. So that's why I love this piece so much. This was something like 200, something like that. So really, do love that piece it's such a beautiful piece if you're looking for a winter jacket definitely look into arcteryx department or i mean arcteryx brand itself really good offerings in that brand 100 percent I, I bought a pair of pants from them before and everyone loved them so that jacket is so good good for a liner i'm gonna get a shell soon hopefully so i'll keep you guys tuned when i get that as well and the final piece banger so sick. I got I got another one back in the collection, people. I missed my other one too much and the other one didn't fit me all too well. Throw this on a hanger for you guys so you guys can get a better understanding of it. Got this needles seven. No, this is like the multiple cut flannel. I don't I don't think it's a seven cut. There's way more cuts to this than I'm I'm sure of. <laughs> so I'm not gonna go ahead and throw a number on it, but I had a needles flannel before. And I got it from OTH, once again, that's where this is from. Shout out to Ricky, he hooked it up with this one. And also the Arcteric jacket, so mad love to Ricky. This is replacing my other one that I had. I had basically sold it because I wanted to get those Rick Owens Berlin sweatpants from Silver League. I just let go of my flannel because I didn't think I was gonna use it too much and also it was kind of baggy. It wasn't something that I, I thought I was gonna keep in my wardrobe for a lot, but then after I sold it, I missed it a lot and I didn't realize how easy it is to just throw a flannel on anything and it adds a spice of Americana that I enjoy and that like just that Japanese aesthetic that I, I just appreciate so much. So I really did miss it. And then when they restocked on flannels and needles in general at OTH. I was the first one there and I snagged this one. Beautiful, lots of white in the in the piece. So it's just very wearable, very earthy, but with the hints of white. So you're just able to pair with a whole lot of stuff. My other one was kind of all over the place and very boxy and wide. Wasn't very flattering, but this one fits my body perfectly. I think it's a size, oh, this one's a one size, but it definitely fits like a large, so. Very perfect in my personal opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all of my pickups. Whole lot of stuff, just way too much stuff. But I hope you hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and like the video if you guys did enjoy it. It helps out a whole bunch, you have no clue. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to go follow me on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can stay up to date with me more frequently. And that's about it. New videos on the way as always. My name is Kyron, take care, I'll see you soon. Peace. Your money, I'm not your funny, I'm I got too much money for this deep for my wallet. Why, why you don't for messing us? It made me stack, so be king. I'm gonna cut Ricky Dennis. Hold the right.